1872, photographer Edward Muybridge used stop-motion photography to capture the rapid movement of galloping horses. His technique demonstrated that all four hooves left the ground, something previously hidden to the human eye. Now, over a hundred years later, my team and I are using the same principles to see inside atoms. You might be familiar with this traditional representation of an atom, a nucleus in the center and electrons orbiting outside. But in reality it looks more like this. The inherently fuzzy nature of electrons means it's difficult to know exactly where they are at any given time, and they essentially form an electron cloud around the nucleus. Like Mike Bridge did with his photographs, we hope to freeze the rapid motion of these electrons, revealing the hidden worlds inside. X-rays, a form of light, has a wavelength about the size of an atom, meaning they can help us see small things. Today, we regularly use them in a technique called X-ray crystallography to determine how atoms are arranged in matter. It works by measuring how X-rays are scattered by atoms in a crystallized sample. It's an incredibly powerful technique and has led to many Nobel Prize winning discoveries, including the structure of DNA. But we want to take this technique to a new, smaller scale. When we fire X-rays at an atom, they bounce off regions where there's a higher density of electrons. As this changes over time, the pattern of deflected X-rays also changes. Just as Mybridge used high-speed photography to capture fast movement, we too have to use very short flashes of X-rays. We can take snapshots of these changing patterns and use them to calculate where the electrons are inside the atom. This allows us to essentially freeze the movement, creating a number of still images that we can link together to create a film of the motion. By mapping the dance of an electron, we'll obtain an unprecedented view of how electrons interact, helping us to understand how they behave in chemical reactions, such as the formation and breaking of bonds. Eventually, I hope techniques such as this one will revolutionize how we design and build new materials, generate new technologies such as artificial photosynthesis, and even help us better understand the chemical basis of human vision. At the moment, this technique is only theoretical, but we do have the technology to make it possible. And just like Mybridge did, for people and animals, we hope to reveal the hidden beauty of nature. Only this time, on an atomic level.